going to check it out. Not capturing. There we go. Looks weird. Let me send that over. All right, let's do this. You're going to play this game only once. There's no saving data. What? Who the hell made this? All right, I'm having second thoughts already. Traditional Scarecrow. And some second thoughts. This is gonna be weird, isn't it? It's really loud right now for me too. That's what I mean about the headphone amplifier. Like everything I'm hearing now is gonna be so much louder than what the stream is hearing. But it's so nice listening to music with it. Like even if you have like a decent pair of headphones and you get like a little headphone amplifier, it actually makes the sound so much better. As opposed to going out and getting like a $500 pair of headphones. It's just that number one uh, rated one on Amazon. I'm surprised no one else has really talked about it before. But I think it's really more for like high powered headphones that don't get enough power from like a computer. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm chasing a little girl apparently. But I've seen this map before and these chunks. Also, it was just like the default Dora the Explorer girl, whatever the hell her name is from Unity. Yeah, kind of like a little preamp. So like if you got like a really nice uh, pair of headphones, you probably wouldn't be able to use them to their full potential because, you know, they kind of need their own power source. Usually they don't have that. All right, we're going over this little river. <clears throat> and I don't know, it really helps. Apparently it converts like your audio signal to a different one. I don't know. I don't know about all that. I think I'm the bad guy. I think I'm the scarecrow. I think I already figured this out. Dried blood. Mr. Patson's house? What the fuck is happening here? Also, is that blood? What is that an exclamation point? Yeah, I've got HD 558 uh, Sennheisers, and they're decent headphones, but... You know. There's a lot more that they make at the higher end, so... But this seems like a good in-between, instead of going out and buying like an insane pair of headphones right now. It was like 70 bucks. And definitely makes music more enjoyable, for sure. Yeah, we've had like a week-long power outage here a couple times in the past 10 years. It's awful. Luckily, I've like lived at places that had running water both times, like not well water or something like that. Although most places that use well water seem to have like a generator built into the basement. Why is this the number one game in the horror section? What's happening here? Uh, there's the scarecrows. No idea what's happening. Also, I watched this awful, awful movie last night. I should have just streamed. Uh, it was like playing a really bad PS1 horror game. You know, I was just looking for like a good atmospheric, slow moving horror movie to like pass out to. And it's this movie called Devil's Gate. And immediately I was like, wait, what? Jonathan Frakes is the sheriff of the police in the movie? This is, it was made in 2017. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? 
And it's just awful. It's on Netflix. If someone wants to go watch it. What is this filter when you... Is that my eyeball? Did I get punched? It's It's got aliens in it. Oh my god. Speaking of that. Mr. Patson. Hi kid, how are you? I'm confused, Mr. Patson. Tell me why and maybe I can help you. Why is your arm a hot dog? For, for two days now, I see a girl in a red dress. She runs away and I can't catch her. I don't know who she is. Well, maybe she likes you. Wait, you know her? Yeah, he's got, he's got very little hands. Other hands? No. Mr. Patson, are you hiding something? No, why do you think that? Because you have a fucking front yard full of scarecrows. And you're not growing anything. I just asked, also your scarecrows are so creepy. Why are they creepy? Mr. Patson, I love creepy scarecrows. It's a tradition. How do you make it? What the fuck is happening here? What are they made of? I'm curious. If I will tell you, I will break the rules of tradition. Now go home before it gets dark. Yeah, this is perfect. Remember I was just talking about how we needed a Herald video game the other day? I think this is going to be like Reverse Herald. It's scary at night, something about that? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck else he said. Yeah, the Scarecrows are made of kids. Mystery solved. I can catch her. I've definitely seen that model in a bunch of other games, though, I feel like. She just definitely sunk into the ground. What? Is this rust? I can't traverse this? Need sharp tool. Also, I don't understand this filter. It's like oily puddle in a parking lot. Like, what is... I don't... What is that? What does that represent? Music, though. It reminds you of Fable? Why? The Scarecrows are made of kids. But yeah, so in that movie, um, oh fuck, it also has what's his name in it from like, I think he was in like the Spider-Man movie once. I don't know. Forget his name. But anyways, it's about like an FBI agent. It kind of almost like had Deadly Premonition vibes for a second because it was just so bizarre. But it's about this lady who's an FBI agent. She's going to the small town to investigate a missing a uh, child and and the mother and once she gets there Jonathan Frakes is the chief of police and he's like nah it's okay everything's okay here basically the entire time so you know he's bad and um and then there's just aliens I don't know I don't want to spoil it because I think someone might want to go watch it do you want me to spoil the Devil's Gate for you? And there's just like a whole lot of nothing happening in this game. Sounds like a sex move. I mean, everything could sound like that if you wanted to, though. It's just, um, it's just a way to subvert like, people's expectations because they think it's going to be about, like, ghosts and shit. No, it's about aliens. It's just a, uh, what is this? It's, uh, it's just, like, some famous free uh, copyright music. 
It's getting all crusty. I'm pretty pissed off about this, actually. They made me walk all that way for nothing. Yeah, it sounds like that jewelry commercial. The Zales jewelry one. Remember we talked about this a few weeks ago? Like, the really intense sounding one? Okay. I had to go all this way, now nothing's happening? Wow, they really made it so you can't fall out? Kind of impressed. Well, it sounds like the music a lot. I'm gonna have to get that uh, on hand. Damn, you guys are all on the path of the hurricane. That sucks, dude. Please stay safe. I'll charge all your shit just in case you get to use anything. Oh, sick. broke into the house. Look at this table. Alright, that's enough of that. Traditional scarecrow. I don't know what the fuck was happening there. Next. I don't know when this came out. Palladio by Carl Jenkins. I'm gonna have to get that and the commercial just so I could like cut to it when needed. This looks kinda cool. Does Sonic live here? Why are there no walls? <laughs> Press space to jump, hold shift to fall faster. What? I'm like bouncing. What? Oh, I see. Yo, timing is not my forte. Hold shift while falling and then space to bounce. There's no way I'm getting that cookie. Hold shift while falling. Yo, I am not bouncing. I thought it was like Zale's jewelry or something like that. Oh, there we go. There we go. You gotta really time it just right, though. Got it. Fall speed is based on the height you start holding shift at. Ooh, I fucked that up. How do they think of this? Fuck. 
Is it bad for the bitrate? Dude, I uh, went into the atmosphere, I think. What? Our Jimmy's are eternal. That's the song, I think. A lot of good music tonight. <sighs> and down. Well, I can. You for that five months. This is such a neat idea. And we descend! <laughs> Clarity Loon. I like that one part a lot. Oh! No! Let me go! We jumped too high! Oh. All right, this is really cool. That was sick. You said it was just weed, man. I thought it was just an edible. Azurite Coast, that sounds familiar. Yeah, I really like that. I thought that I was gonna be like wandering around this like nightmare sonic uh, globe world. Welcome to the epilogue. That's the second game about the moon I've played this week that was really unexpectedly awesome. I guess you can't say it was about the moon. Yeah, I guess kinda. Yeah, this is cool though. I like this. This is pretty janky, so press R if you need to reset. So I can just do whatever I want here now. Oh, there's a fucking end to it. It's like the sea of tranquility out here. There's no secrets out here, just a playful jar of cookies. Is there an end though? Do we fall off eventually? Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see what this guy does. I like this kind of physics tech demo. Be neat to see in another game. Like a... Dude, what about those trampoline places that kind of replaced Chuck E. Cheese over the past few decades? You know what I'm talking about? There's like trampoline playgrounds that kids go to instead of Chuck E. Cheese now. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? So it's like that, right? And then, and then it's a horror game for some reason. Probably because you get strep throat very easily there. Sky Zone, that's what they're called. I don't know, just kind of... He was. They were probably working there and that's how they came up with the idea. I don't know, where else would you be around a trampoline? Bankruptcy zone? Adam. Oh, come on, I beefed it. Alright. Here we go. But you can get to the top of that. What happens if you get up there? Let me on. There's something up there. Thank you. 
I don't, it kind of like almost makes me sick almost a little bit, honestly. Maybe my stomach's just fucked up tonight. <clears throat> a little sick feeling after a little while. I would not, I'm not made for VR, dude. I can't even handle this shit. I'm just trying to get to the top of that tower. Oh no, it's just a light. There we go. Did it. There's nothing. And I can't jump anymore. <clears throat> this is just my fate. Oh, no, I can fall off. Well, it's the cookies. Remember the moon was mad about the cookies? The cookie jar, for some reason? They want you to chase... He said there's no secrets out there. I'm gonna believe him, because, uh... That's all my eyes can take for now. That was cool. I really like that. It's called Rococo. Le Rocco. I don't, I don't know. Rococo. For the cookies? Maybe? Um... What else do we have here? Also, Glitch Queen. Thank you for that raid. Hope you're doing well. Oh no, I just play this. Spook right? I don't know what this is. Big smiley face. Nails over there. Home at last. Oh, I better hurry. The stream's gonna start soon. Excuse me? Is that what your chat looks like? Who the fuck's house is like this? You, are you literally living in an Ikea? What the hell is this? This is a jam, though. I don't know about that counter. Uh, I don't know if I would go with neon highlighter marble. Is that pretty expensive these days? Yeah, I'm only like five feet tall again. Man, they keep making these protagonists just like chin level with the counters of their houses. It must be kind of frustrating. Now streaming. So this is like a streamer fan game, I, I guess. That's what I'm kind of getting out of that. That's cool. Some cool music. It's a, like, Fallout piss yellow, like, personal choice. It's, ugh. Everything else looks pretty nice. What is this carpet? I used to have that phone background. <clears throat> yeah, it's just like an empty Ikea. The wall of bureaus over here. Us. The doors fucking creepy sound when they open. Yeah, let's stream. Oh, I forgot what I changed my password to. I know I wrote it down somewhere. Maybe the mask will jog my memory. The mask? Also, look how big he is compared to his computer chair. Well, can we just jump up there? Yeah, another cell phone over here? Try your password, man. 
I thought I think you may have like really bad astigmatism if you are seeing colors that brightly. You may need to see an eye doctor. How do you drive a car? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What did he say to look for something? The mask? Find the mask! I thought for sure I was just gonna burst through that. There we go. Too small though. <laughs> just got like a box for it over there. We've reached the part of the house that's lit by torches, so. That's how you know you should uninstall Tinder. When you get to that part of the date. And you need to get the fuck out of there. Also, when you start finding these. Here we go. Let's try this one. Holy shit. This couch is huge. I heard something. No? So my first task is just to like find papers with passwords on them. All right, I think I'm all set. I don't know what's going on. That's a cool fan game. If someone made that for that purpose. Not feeling it. I forget if I played this one. Solitary. Start like four times. Oh no, it's just not this the entire time. Well, cemented in down here. Get some good 3D sound. Like that song? Get anything in this? <gasps> There's a note. You are alone. Oh, what's wrong with it? Jesus Christ. Also, Tux. Thanks for that 22 months, dude. Not feeling this one very much. Also, what kind of solitary confinement would put a radio in there with you? I don't think that that's how it works. Nothing? Like, I appreciate the idea. I played a few of these before where it's like... You have a radio and weird shit happens. 
then a note appears. I guess I could have locked myself in, maybe. Oh, why? <clears throat> yeah, but like, someone would just crush their own skull with the radio at some point. Thank you. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out now. Also, they put Bad Ben back on Amazon Prime, finally. Instead of him charging, like, 12 bucks for it. It's now free again. Well, kind of. Yeah, you could just try to eat it. If you're really hungry. Oh my god. I mean, I guess neat idea, but not what I thought it was going to be. It worked, though. We got out. We got out of jail. Yeah, dude, if you really think about it, I've beaten hundreds of games on stream this year. Like that game? 100%. Just beat it. This kind of looks like uh, Scythe Dev team. Like Northbury Creek Massacre. Is that what this is? Intro. The Basement. Nightmare of the Motel. I don't know about that title. Oh, cool. Can't see anything, though. I think we're going to crash any second. It's raining Vaseline. Now, it looks a lot like North Berry Creek. Yeah, let's read this while we're driving. Police Department of North Prey. Name unknown. Age unknown. Weight 666. Height 66666. The Police Department of North Prey closes down the North Prey Forest for safety precautions. A search party has been organized to track down the disappeared officer. <laughs> Only PDN officers or search members can enter the forest. The information written down is from the eyewitness. The PDN never encountered the suspect. Excuse me, what is PDN? Okay, the police department of North Prey. Okay, okay. You down with PDN? Uh, the suspect has been active in the area of North Prey Forest and Route 89 Motel. The photograph showed above was taken by a witness at the motel. Nice job. You could really identify him from this... Is he wearing a fucking paper bag over his head? What the hell's going on here? That's not that could not even that might not even be a person. It could be like a bush. Are they wearing a goat head? Oh yeah, it looks like it could be an animal. Like a a horse. A horse mask, yeah. The suspect was has shown highly aggressive behavior. Its face is usually covered with a pig mask. Oh, we just read just gone another sentence. Covered with a that looks like a weird ass pig though. Um, different kinds of uh, different kinds as eyewitness reported. So different pig masks, plural. The suspect's weapons are a kitchen knife and a fire axe. Usually wears a shirt and a black apron. One witness saw the suspect with a bulletproof vest. Oh my god. He's serious. The suspect's been trying to open motel doors and starting or staring into the windows of the motel. Three homicides are connected with the suspect. The PDN must use firearms to take on the suspect if it's not cooperative with officers. Warning. If a civilian encounters a person with the correct description mentioned above, flee the area, contact the PDN immediately. Is that actually easier to read, you think, than what was written down? I don't think so. That looks like a hurt your eyes more. Tell Daniel that that guy came in today and said that there was a small cabin on the west side of the forest. 
or a person still lives. Heard some noises around there. Tear that place apart. Come back with something useful. Okay. Continue driving? Nah. I think I'm just gonna check the back seat out. Fuck around with the air conditioner. Oh, we got tapes? This is a pre-recorded instruction for police officers. You, you hear that? To join the search party. The goal is to track down the person behind the three homicides that happened at the Route 89 motel. Police officers have permission to use firearms if necessary. The North Damn, I didn't know Microsoft Sam used to work for the PDN. The must be escorted back to the city. Dude's fucking been in a lot of places. The motel team is working around the Route 89 motel. Investigators are already analyzing the area of the motel. The most recent Route 89 hotel. February 2nd. South and West team are working around the North Bay Forest. Progression is slow due to the size of the area. If the search party couldn't find any liable evidence or any member of the search party gets injured or disappears, the search party will be shut down. All right, sounds good. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? Immediately crashes car. Door's locked. <clears throat> Where am I? Basement key, nice. This mattress looks like it's moving, but... Alright. We're free. Squeeze in. Door is locked. Just white noises. Yeah, this is a very weird basement. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm gonna need about a uh, half a foot entry. Just in case someone who can collapse their bones decides to come into my house, they can sneak through and hide back there. What? Oh, it's a mannequin. Jesus Christ, you scared me, mannequin. I hid this key under my bed. I don't know what it opens. <laughs> what? What bed? I can't crouch. There it is. Like that key sound. That is the vidge bomb. He is the mannequin. And this leads nowhere. Police report. The police department of North Ray received a call on a, from a guest at Route 89 Motel that a person was murdered. Three police officers were sent to investigate the homicide, arrived at the scene at AM 3.30. The victim, Elizabeth Way, was found with six stab wounds in the chest. Suspects of the homicide saw a man running into the nearby forest. Police officer redacted went to investigate the forest and went missing. Uh, notes. A search party will be organized if the officer redacted doesn't show up after 12 hours of his disappearance. They really don't give a shit. That's what I broke in here for? That's it. It's fucking it. There's nothing. Oh, the fucking clock. 
Um, AM 330. Chicken salad? Yeah, sometimes. Aldi's is a uh, good little chicken salad you can get. 3.30. All about that Aldi's. You really gotta do this. <clears throat> I haven't been there in a little while, but... Alright. Just wait noise. Well, what the fuck else do they want from me? What is this shit? There's no way in or out of here. Through this fucking window? What's Aldi's? Um. Just a grocery store, I guess. There's nothing else in here. But they have some, like, weird shit going on. Like, no shelves. But they have some food that you really can't get anywhere else. AM 3.30? What the fuck? Is there something else? And, like, you have to pay, like, a quarter to get a shopping cart. Like, you have to deposit it. And they run on, like, a pretty, like, skeleton crew, basically, to, like, save money. Maybe you have to go all the way. Yeah, like, the meat's, like, the only thing that has, like, a normal shelf. Everything else is, like, they bring out the pallet that it comes in, basically, and then they just cut it open. And it's on the floor. I think Price Right is kind of like that, too, actually. But it's, like, way cheaper than going to the normal grocery store. And they have, like, just as good as stuff. <gasps> it was that? Just white noise. It's actually originally from the same people that started Trader Joe's. Aldi used to be one company in, in Germany. And many, I think like the 50s or 70s, I don't know, many years ago, the company like couldn't agree if they wanted to sell cigarettes or not. And the company ended up splitting up if about over selling cigarettes in the grocery store or not. And it became Aldi North and South, I think. And then eventually, when they came to America, Aldi bought the tra like the trademark for the name of the company. So when the other Aldi came to America too, they couldn't name it Aldi. They had to name it Trader Joe's. So that's why it's Trader Joe's. They started as the same company. Oh, there's a knight in here. What is this? Fucking Indiana Jones? I think it, what the fuck? The Great Aldi Feud. Although, ironically, I'm sure now neither of them sell cigarettes in grocery stores. You know what I mean? I don't... I think that's kind of funny. Uh, this just got really confusing. I think they're pretty different, though. Like, Aldi and Trader Joe's in America are not very similar. Just a little bit. What? I just won? Winners don't use drugs. I think I lost the guy. You think he's supposed to be in the arcade cabinet? He was like clearly standing right here though. But it did seem like he went through the wall. They made a game about it called Aldi's Basics. Really, that's funny. 
There's a really good YouTube channel if you're interested in stuff like that with business and uh, why companies are gone or what happened to them. It's called The Company Man. He's pretty good. I would recommend that channel if you want random business YouTube videos. Oh, it's a night. The map. Daniel Ross. It's like Shooter McGavin's son. Yeah, well, I assume they have the same business ethics as far as, like, doing business for cheaper so they can pass the prices on to their customers or whatever. I don't know. I do like shopping. I've never actually really been to Trader Joe's. We don't have one near here, but uh, Aldi's is cool. Sometimes I'd rather just go to the normal grocery store, though, honestly. Also, this game is just about a maze, so. Neat idea. Not feeling it. This is what I do with some itch games. We just, like, kind of go through a bunch of them. Daniel Ross. The filters on that one were kind of fucking with me, too. This is a uh, Japanese horror. There could be an Indonesian horror game, actually, now that I think about it. I don't know what this is. Mary-san? Mary-san? No, that's Japanese, right? So he's like some kind of tar yokai or something? Tartle. See what you did there. You okay? When I was a kid, I saw a girl in white knocking on my window. I don't know if she was a human or something else. Get real. I told my father about what happened. Then he put a talisman on my window without saying anything. Explore all the rooms. Jesus. Oh shit, is that a Warhammer guy? I've been seeing this a lot. In games lately like this filter they use on a photo <clears throat> what is this is this something I don't know I just feel like I haven't seen it very often until recently like it looks like an AI filter like just kind of like put squiggles on it or something like that yeah, it's like some kind of like texture effect. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's what it is. That tends to happen a lot with these games is like one person does something and then like everyone uses that asset or something. I've been seeing it all the time lately. I don't know where he went. Climb out the window. Yeah, who the fuck is that? Look at that big ass laptop. Holy shit. I feel like snowboarding on that thing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can get a filter for it on some things. This is another kind of confusing house. You know what this is starting to remind me of, though? Is, uh... This is the longest hallway in my house. My father's workspace. It's locked. 
This is connected to the bathroom. There's also an ancient red vase inside. Good information to have. Connected by the bathroom. Parents' bedroom, it's locked. <clears throat> yeah, in case you were wondering. They're on vacation, left a key somewhere in the storage. Storage. They left it in the storage. <gasps> With some pills. Is that Harry Potter? <laughs> this house is truly haunted. All right, yeah, I see it. You should take that. Take the fucking key, man. The f what the fuck? It's right there. Take it. Do you hear this? It sounds like someone's like making popcorn. Do you hear that? Can I collide with things? Like my feet? I don't know. I don't know. I can't pick it up. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's a fair. I was so close. Explored all the other rooms. Yeah, but I think that's the room that's being held back. The one that the key's for, I would assume. I think I went through everything else. <laughs> Bathroom. Can't get in there. And I can't get into his office either. You did say it's connected by the bathroom? That doesn't make any sense. It's not connected at all. This other bathroom? Oh, I didn't see this one. I forgot there was no food in the kitchen. I should go buy something to eat tomorrow. Go to convenience store? This kind of reminds me of like Chilla, uh, Chilla's games a little bit. I feel like the setting, I guess. Going to the store. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. I think I'm supposed to be a kid too, but it feels like I'm. I think I'm very small again. There's the store. Blue. Ah. Go back home? I don't even get to see the store? The fuck? Get a walk for like a minute straight. But what is that thing? He's your friend. It's okay. Hello? I forget where I live. Hey, what's up, Tim? How are you doing? Just chilling there. 
Maybe we should have helped him. What's up, Bell? You know what he looks like? The tar man from uh, Return of the Living Dead. You ever see that movie? That's a classic. Store the food in the fridge. The tar man. One of the coolest, like, horror monsters ever. Well, this is kind of a zombie, but he's pretty badass. Poster's gone. They oh, oh no, there it is. What is up with this poster? Everything seems fine here. How to stop Miri-san. Find a talisman, put inside an ancient red vase, leave it in the toilet for one day? What? Stick the talisman on the red street light. What does the toilet have to do with this? Oh, she's alive. Where do I find a talisman? What about it? Oh, the talisman is on the window. I guess that's what that was. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, they took the instructions away? I don't remember that. Note on the tree. I am Miri San. Is that what you are? Hey, he's just a big slime man. Like, what the fuck is he doing? And that's right. Father's workplace. 
Is it over here? What's she doing? Put it in the toilet. With pleasure. I put the toilet. It would have been spooky if her legs were like actually like doing something. Go back to sleep. Shirting, no problem. Go to sleep. Wrong bed. Day three. Grab the talisman from the toilet. <clears throat> okay. Whoa. I just saw someone. Pretty sure. Go outside. Look at that run animation. I can't. Oh, you got like absorbed. Oh shit. Toilet talisman. Look at his legs. Bro, what the fuck did you do? The dead end. Are you kidding me? Fuck off. What was I supposed to do there? What if I don't even go that way? I guess you have to. What? What the fuck? Where the fuck are you supposed to go there? Both hallways are... There's gotta be like a painting you take off? I guess I wasn't looking at what to do at that point. Let's find an exit. But everything's a dead end. Yeah, maybe you, oops. 
downstairs. Please don't come in here. What the fuck? I shut the door, man. What's up, Andor? He also looks like that guy in TNG. I think it's in season one. Like the tar pit monster. It might be season two, actually. He's supposed to be like super evil. He's like, I'm bad. Because I'm bad. Like really dumb. <laughs> and uh, Tim Curry's character from. What was the movie about the jungle? Fern Gully. Oh, wait, is that open? No. Fern Gully. Dude, I don't know about this. Like, where am I supposed to really go? Where are you supposed to go? You know what I'm talking about? Tim Curry's character in Fern Gully. He's like all tar. And he sings that song. It's got actually like a badass little number. I'm gonna just leave right now. It's true, the windows were now blocked. Why would it let you go that way, though? You know what I mean? Also, everything is weird ladies now. Ugh, making that noise just like messed my throat up. Got the window. Hey, it worked. Good call. Ah, my leg. You're not a very effective monster. It's pretty fucking far away, dude. No, this is just random age games. Just random age games. Oh, there's a fucking maze to the headlight, to the street light. Why did I call the headlight? So anticlimactic. I mean, it could be like an ancient city, but uh, or town. But yeah, I don't know about the weird little walls leading up to the light. That was, was just all in his head. Not this way. Who knows? It's playable though, which is more than I can say for a few other games tonight. You play the game. <clears throat> the things happen. Ghost balls. Dad'll never even know I took the vase and exercised that demon. He'll never know. I was the tar monster all along, son. <laughs> And then it just ends. There's just a scale in here. I'm in the broom. Oh, you're right. I don't have the base. Good point. Bathroom. 
Yeah, that's right. We have two bathrooms right next to each other. I forgot about that. Oh my god! Incredible. Harold. When it got hot in the valley, Thomas and Alfred drove their cows up to a cool green pasture in the mountains to graze. Usually they stayed there with the cows for two months, then they brought them down to the valley again. The work was easy enough, but oh, it was boring. All day the two men tended their cows. At night they went back to the tiny hut where they lived. They ate supper and worked in the garden and went to sleep. It was always the same. Then Thomas had an idea that changed everything. Let's make a doll the size of a man, he said. It would be fun to make, and we could put it in the garden to scare away the birds. It should look like Harold, Alfred said. Harold was a farmer they both hated. They made the doll out of old sacks stuffed with straw. They gave it a pointy nose like Harold's and tiny eyes like his. Then they added dark hair and a twisted frown. Of course, they also gave it Harold's name. Each morning on their way to the pasture, they tied Harold to a pole in the garden to scare away the birds. Each night, they brought him inside so that he wouldn't get ruined if it rained. When they were feeling playful, they would talk to him. One of them might say, How are the vegetables growing today, Harold? Then the other, making believe he was Harold, would answer in a crazy voice, Very slowly. They would both laugh, but not Harold. Whenever something went wrong, they took it out on Harold. They would curse at him, even kick him or punch him. Sometimes one of them would take the food they were eating, which they both were sick of, and smear it on the doll's face. How do you like that stew, Harold? He would ask. Well, you better eat it, or else. Then the two men would howl with laughter. One night, after Thomas had wiped Harold's face with food, Harold grunted. <sighs> Did you hear that? Alfred asked. It was Harold, Thomas said. I was watching him when it happened. I can't believe it. How could he grunt? Alfred asked. He's just a sack of straw. It's not possible. Let's throw him in the fire, said Thomas, and that'll be that. Let's not do anything stupid, said Alfred. We don't know what's going on. When we move the cows down, we'll leave him behind. For now, let's just keep an eye on him. So they left Harold sitting in a corner of the hut. They didn't talk to him or take him outside anymore. Now and then the doll grunted, but that was all. After a few days, they decided there was nothing to be afraid of. Maybe a mouse or some insects had gotten inside Harold and were making those sounds. So Thomas and Alfred went back to their old ways. Each morning they put Harold out in the garden, and each night they brought him back into the hut. When they felt playful, they joked with him. When they felt mean, they treated him as badly as ever. Then one night, Alfred noticed something that frightened him. Harold is growing, he said. I was thinking the same thing, Thomas said. Maybe it's just our imagination, Alfred replied. We've been up here on this mountain too long. The next morning, while they were eating, Harold stood up and walked out of the hut. He climbed up on the roof and trotted back and forth like a horse on its hind legs. All day and all night long, he trotted like that. In the morning, Harold climbed down and stood in a far corner of the pasture. The men had no idea what he would do next. They were afraid. They decided to take the cows down into the valley that same day. When they left, Harold was nowhere in sight. They felt as if they had escaped a great danger and began joking and singing. But when they had gone only a mile or two, they realized they had forgotten to bring the milking stools. 
Neither one wanted Bro, to what go the back fuck? to them, but the stools would cost a lot to replace. You forgot my there milking really stool? There's nothing to be afraid of, they told one another. After all, also, what Dave, could a doll right, do? They drew straws to see which one would go back. Well? It was Thomas. I'll catch up with you, he said, and Alfred walked on toward the valley. When Alfred came to a rise in the path, he looked stool. back for Thomas. He did not see him anywhere, but he did see Harold. The doll was on the roof of the hut again. As Alfred watched, Harold kneeled and stretched out a bloody skin to dry in the sun. Yeah, that shit's real. That's a, that actually happened. All right, next game's called Grandfather's Book. Oh my god, sensitivity. Also, Dave, thanks again for the raid, man. Appreciate that. I think everybody's grandparent had this fucking chair at some point. Or one that looked like it. I think my grandpa had one that was like a, a rocker. Like 50 years ago. That was, who's doing that? There's no door in this room. Is here anyone? This is like the second or third game tonight. I just kind of like this. Like, this book was not here before. You are stuck in a room. Fucking deal with it, basically. He was so obsessed by it and cut all contact from others just to read this stupid book. But where did it come from? What does it say? Wild Bill? Wild theory. I would I would take a look in it just to see what it's all about. Yeah, what is wild theory? Agony brings fear to the lost souls who read the word. It sounds like something that Charlie would write. The word shall set the lost free from this world. What the hell is this kind of book? The truest story. Wild theory. By Charlie Day. Why would grandfather read this? Oh, there's a door now. Fancy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down. Do you see that? That was like tall golem. You guys knew about handsome Squidworth, but did you know about tall golem? Well, he's real. And he's coming to get you. Seems like there's a lot of fire hazards going on in this game, too. Like, here's a bad place to put candles. On the floor. Next to a fucking swinging cabinet door. Like, that's how you burn your house down. This is the same book. How did it get here? Is it the... This is the book that makes the scary places. I feel there is someone in here. Oh no, not that guy. Am I going insane? Someone's just turned the lights on and off. Not that crazy. I'm sure everyone's been locked in a room at one point while someone flicked the lights on, like on and off, right? That's normal behavior. Right? That's happened to you before. Normal human behavior. Someone just locked that. Excuse me? <clears throat> Dollum. Nosferatu. I don't understand anything. Am I even alive anymore? Or is this a dream? 
Get real. Not that book again. Why does it keep following me? What did I do? There must be a clue in this book I didn't read before. The words shall set the lost free from this world. And into another shall the words in prison. Yeah, we really need David Lynch right now. Words in prison. Am I inside the book? Why would you think that? Me what? That was not where I was thinking we were going, but... Am I inside the book? The words... DMT, the spirit molecule. Thanks for playing. Good. I didn't even mean to hit that button. I meant to hit the BRB. Kind of works, though. Now, that was kind of neat, at least. I don't know. It worked. We were, yeah, it was an Animorph book. We were the book all along. This is how life is. Sometimes you're a book. What the hell? My Dear Neighbor Edition. What the fuck is happening? Is this 100 Gex? Whoa. Oh, yeah, I did say 404 edition. My dearest neighbor, I'm writing to invite you to a meal to welcome you to our beautiful neighborhood. I would be extremely pleased if you would accept this invitation. We could get to know each other and maybe start a great friendship. With all due respect, your next door neighbor. Kesskesse? Every time I, I hear someone say Kesskesse, I'm going to think of the Psycho Killer song. It's just not sure. Sorry, French language. Now it's gonna be stuck in my head. My dear neighbor. Ah! Ah! That's the worst sound ever. So these headphone amplifiers are kind of working against me in some ways. It makes the bad, bad. Hey, this looks good. Although I can almost make out the bare layout of the Unity House. Maybe that's just life. Maybe we just see the Unity House and everything now. But it is the same setup. Stairway to the right, landing over the doorway. Hallway door exactly where it would be. There's no bathroom door right here, which I've seen that moved around a little bit before. And then we would have the TV room to the. It's the fucking radio from the other game. It's very similar. I just think I just think maybe everything is that now, my dear neighbor. If you're currently listening to this recording, it will mean that you have already arrived at home. As you may have noticed, I haven't come home yet because I had a little something at work. I'm sorry, I can't be there to welcome you, but don't worry, I'll do my best to get home as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you don't mind, I'd like to pre you to prepare the meal I wanted to make for the both of us in order to save it. You'll find the recipe for the meal I made to be on the USB stick, which is in one of the bedrooms upstairs. You only have to insert it in the computer, which is in the dining room. I thank you in advance, and I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused. See you soon, my dear neighbor. Yeah, this is very strange. Breaking news. 
America. Why? Whoa. Why? We're in like a fucking tiny house. Need some like sonic jump pads and shit. Very bright though. fuck is that? This is a lasagna dish. Oh. Some things just don't look well when the texture version. We're not there yet for lasagna, I'm afraid. Like, is that a lasagna texture or is that a puke texture? Could you tell if someone showed you that? Well, cook it, man. That was the that's what he said to do. Let's get to fucking work here. The hard part's already done. Yeah, I want to 3D print some lasagna. Isn't there a 3D printer that's like just pasta? It just makes all the pasta you want. Pretty sure that's the real thing. Yeah, the house is just extremely bright. Whoa. You collected a waste? Yeah, just prints out like the kind of pasta you want. Like you want the little squiggly line pasta? No problem. You want a big lasagna thing? No problem. I don't know. What else is there? I, I don't know what they want from me. I thought I was cooking. You did say something about the flash drive, too. Maybe I was supposed to do that first. Flash drive was upstairs, I think he said. Yeah, this is the same layout, basically, as the Unity has, just a little different. <clears throat> so you have two cars? I don't know, maybe you walk to work. Who fucking knows? Spy Kid food packets. I've never seen uh, Spy Kids. I just know of it. I've heard of the tales. So I'm not familiar with their food packets. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to become a horror game. Now that I've explored every inch of the fucking house. Some TP just floating. Who the fuck did he say the fucking flash drive was? I'm losing my goddamn mind. You threw garbage in the trash. Wait, Steve Buscemi's in the movie? Oh my god. What? It's 
Is that Sauron? Hard drive. What? Error. Your game just got hacked by a virus. <laughs> Your game just got hacked by a virus. Oh no! Launch of the antivirus software in progress. Please wait. Attempt failed. Lack of power. Please activate the backup generator in order to launch the antivirus software. Guys, the matrix is breaking down. Restore the energy. Find the backup generator. That's an air conditioner. Shouldn't that not be in the garage? Shouldn't that be like outside? Oh God. What the fuck? Alert! A virus has been detected. New attempt to launch antivirus. Delayed attempt. The virus tries to hack the lighting system of the house. You must quickly find something to light you up. You have two minutes before the lights go out. Didn't I already find it? I thought I found a flashlight. Find a flashlight. It's not looking good. Fires like all fucked up. Oh, that was a bad idea. That's really a bad idea. Yeah, I could have sworn I found one. A lot. Maybe I have it. I can't remember if that was this game or not, though. If it was the last game. Honestly. Oh well. You need to find a flashlight before the lights go out. I found I think I found one. I hope. Time expired, but don't worry. All this was a prank. The lights won't turn off. New attempt to launch antivirus. What? Error. Password needed to continue the process. Please enter the correct password. <laughs> Sorry, it was just a prank. You weren't... Robot, what are you doing? Password entered successfully. Error. Incorrect password. Failed to launch antivirus. You've only made mistakes so far. I can't do anything for you anymore. The virus has grown too big because of you. <laughs> it's now impossible for me to contain the virus because it has become too powerful. Alert. Delta H materialization. I repeat. Alert. Delta H materialization. Hurry up and get out of here. Ah! Uh.
Ah! How is that achievement? Alternative ending number two? How many fucking endings are there? At the start, all the way at the beginning. Why this song? Like, what is this song? Oh. I thought it was gonna have something to do with like something happening in the game. It's fucking weird. It sounds like a beat someone was trying to write. Oh, you kind of skip everything. What the fuck? Oh my god. These are all from unlocking things. What animation? Oh, this. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Hmm, mon cher voisin. Je suis désolé, mon voisin. Mais là, je suis encore fatigué. <laughs> Mini game? This is so bizarre. There's so much here. What the fuck? Bum, bum, bum. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da. Yeah, why my dearest neighbor? Don't come to the house.